Time for the word on Wall Street. Top investors watching your money. Joining me now, Bulltick Capital Markets Chief Strategist Catherine Rooney Vera. Catherine Rooney Vera, second quarter earnings season starts this week. What are you watching? Well, it's going to be a tough one, and and analysts really haven't adjusted their estimates too much, Dave. And so I think there's going to be some disappointments. Expect guidance to be lowered, and that makes it easier, of course, to beat. So there will be some beats. Uh, But the what 5.7%, which is expected for second quarter, 10% for 3Q, 4Q, I think that's um, pretty uh, positive. When you have revenue growth dropping, you have margins compressing, you have inflation really digging into the consumer. I think it's going to be a rocky road, uh, especially on the bank front. We get some bank earnings this week. I uh, expect that to be uh, tumultuous. And I think that investors need to, as Linda said, position defensively. Now, when oil prices come down, you see you do see the consumer discretionary names and you see tech do a little bit better. But I would say that we are de facto in stagflation. And the next point of the economic cycle is, as consensus now believes, recession. Um, so when that happens, it's difficult to, to uh, determine. But inflation will stay high for the foreseeable future. It is structural. It is not temporary. And it's not going to come down when gas prices come down. It's going to come down. Again, I'll reference Linda when economic contraction happens. And that Fed knows that. We're going to go 75 basis points. The Fed's going to continue to hike because it knows that demand destruction is the only thing that will bring inflation back down to its part of its dual mandate, which is the 2% target. And, and I'll just note that we watched the Atlanta Federal Reserve GDP now forecast. And on mm-hmm. it's still showing contraction as of it right. updated on Friday, but as contraction in the second quarter of a negative 1.2% on the GDP. And much goes into, that's the July, the update on July 8th, but we had a contraction of the first quarter. This would indicate recession, as we've said all along. So recession and then inflation running at a four year high. Real qu- I'll give you a final word before I move on. Yeah, that's a technical recession. That's a rule of thumb. The NBER is the entity that determines ultimately when we are in recession. 3Q, 4Q are going to bounce up and be positive. My suspicion, though, is that after 1Q, 2Q uh, are negative, Dagan, I suspect that next year we could get a double dip recession. Um, So that's my forecast, and I think we need to be prepared for that volatility in the markets, volatility in earnings, and continued ugliness on the economic data front, watch labor market, labor market rolls over, we get a bigger recessionary prints in 2023. Thank you, ladies. Great to see you.